So welcome back to my project of making a Wii robot uh, with a Wii controller and a Raspberry Pi module. Uh, so I've got a couple 6 volt motors here and I've got a Digital at Mega 64 controller um, that's using that's a Digital and Cerebot 2 board. Uh, over here I've got a Raspberry Pi with a SPI connection going from one board to the next and I've got a USB Bluetooth dongle in the back that I'm going to be connecting to my Nintendo Wii controller here. Uh, so I've written a program here and I'm going to go ahead and run it. Uh, this program is going to ask for me to sync the controller. So I'm going to go ahead and press the little red button on my controller to start syncing it. And you can see as it's syncing it, it'll say connected. And as soon as it's connected, uh, it'll let me uh, know that I can have to press the plus button to be able to disconnect. So uh, for this controller, what you'll notice is as I push the two button, the wheels will speed up. And as I push uh, the one button, it's like a brake and it's going to slow it down and stop it. Uh, if I go ahead and press the two button a little bit more, and then I come over here and I press right or left, it's going to speed up one wheel and slow down the other. If I press left, it's going to speed up the other one and slow that one down. And vice versa, I can just slow down the whole thing by pressing the brake. Uh, my code up here is going to be demonstrating uh, this speeding up. You'll see that I have wheel speeds, and then I have my spy data coming from the Raspberry Pi to the microcontroller, and then the data being sent back, so I know it's the same data. So that needs to equal each other. Uh, I've got a future framework here that I'm working on. Uh, kind of something just simple, but uh, outside of that I've got some some code over here too that uh, I'm going to have all posted on my blog so that you can read up on, but basically here's my Python code that brings in a uh, a spy connection uh, module that I built, uh, a Wii module that I borrowed offline, and then I have a, a few other things here. I've got some global variables, error checking to see if the Wii remote connects, um, and then as I keep scrolling down, I've got uh, basically pulling to see uh, what buttons are being pushed, and basically from there it's going to collect that data and then send that over the spy connection. Um, in this next part over here, I've got some of my um, microcontroller C code that's actually reading in some of that data, and then it slowly is going to determine if it's within the right speed limits, and then it's going to send that speeds to the, the wheels. Uh, it also has code at the later that actually ch checks for direction, and if the direction's correct, then it'll uh, change the direction if it needs to go forward or backwards. But pretty simple. Uh, I'm gonna post all the code and stuff as needed online, um, and you look forward for my next post, which will actually probably be putting it in a chassis, getting some batteries, and uh, fixing up a couple small things in code, and actually get it all working. So keep tuned for more to come. And feel free to check out my blog on how to figure out how to do some of this stuff. I have some great posts that demonstrate how to connect and just kind of give you a walkthrough. So look forward to next time. Uh, please keep coming back.